Whoo! Damn, that's bad. Don't you hit it when your gloves stink? And when they're all wet on the inside, when you put them on, it's moist. And when you take them off, your hands smell just like your glove. Today, we're gonna do a DIY project that helps you not only keep them smelling good, but also to maintain the life of your glove and keep you in the ring. So what we're gonna need here today uh, are a few things that you probably already have around the house, like a, some scissors, uh, a good knife with a sharp tip so that you can make holes. If you do have a drill, you could use a drill. Some bottles, Gatorade bottles, this shape probably works the best. This is the 28 fluid ounce one. I like this shape because it's narrow at the bottom and when you put it in the glove, it helps keep the, the structure of the glove. A sock, the sock is to hold the kitty litter. The kitty litter is basically clay that absorbs moisture and it has some odor blocking stuff that help kind of take away some of the odors from your glove. A Sharpie to draw out the holes and that's it. So we're gonna mark out some spots to have vented holes. Now the only thing to get done is put some holes in them. So if you have a knife with a sharp tip, uh, you could also use that. Uh, be careful when you're doing it. You don't need to stab all the way through, but just drill in tiny little holes. That's why it's good to mark it first so that you're not just stabbing everywhere. And if you do have a drill, it makes this a lot easier, especially for the parts that are real uh, dense, like the bottom part here. You can sit it up on something and start. So I got a bunch of holes drilled in. I drilled all along the sides to have ventilation. So when you put it in the glove, this part is exposed, the air can get through there. Also the bottom part and the top part have holes so that all the air is kind of circulated through. Well, now that we have all the holes drilled in, we're gonna work on putting the sock inside and we're gonna fill the sock up with some kitty litter. What the kitty litter does, it absorbs the odors and the moisture and the sock is to keep it inside this bottle without it getting anywhere. I'm just gonna get a regular sock, probably this about this long. If you don't have a cat, it's still pretty cheap. This bag size is like eight bucks, so if you have multiple pairs of gloves, it's good to have it on hand. So just fill it up. I take the bottle. Get it shoved down into there. Cool, so now that I have it in the bottle, what I do is I fold it over Take the cap, screw it on and it stays that way. So when you want to change it out, you don't have to stick your hand inside there to pull it all out. But also if you want to, you can cut all that off. Next thing you do is put it in the glove. So what this does, it keeps that structure of the glove and it fits perfectly inside the wrist part. It keeps it all aired out. If you want, you can stand them up you can put them in front of a fan and keep them dry or on your balcony and keep your gloves free from odor and free from moisture. There you have it, your DIY glove fresheners. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Also, I have a DIY slip bag video online right now that you can check out. Thank you.